Hey, my friends, welcome to day number six of our stretching for flexibility challenge. Today, we're going to be working on your hamstrings, quads, and obliques. It would be best if you had a resistance band for this. The stretches will be much more effective and you'll be able to relax into them. If you don't have a band, it's okay. You can use a towel, like a beach towel, something that's long enough that you can hold, grab onto. So I highly recommend you do that. Okay, so let's do a warm up. Let's start with that kick across. So back tall has engaged. Great. This is one of my most favorite parts of the warm up right here. This one right here, I don't know about you guys, but I just love how magical it feels. <laughs> but that dynamic warm up, dynamic stretching is what this is called. It's just gonna help get blood through those muscles. Okay, now let's step behind and reach over for that oblique. Great, because we're going to be stretching those today. And if you've been doing a lot of gardening or maybe cleaning, you use a shovel a lot, something like that, you're going to want love these this oblique stretch today. Good. Now, let's go to quad stretch. We're going to be stretching these today. Hopefully, you've noticed a little bit of improvement from the, the last couple days of stretching well I mean four days but if you've done all the, all the days kicking it out for those hamstrings striking with your heel please not not your toes so you get an extra warm-up in those hammies but hopefully you're noticing a difference and they're feeling good after you're done with these stretches each day okay good now that's it you ready we're gonna go to the floor Make sure you got that band. Okay. We're going to start with the hamstring stretch. So you're going to use that band. It's going to go around the arch or the ball of your foot. We're just going to slowly lay down. And the nice thing about using a band is you can, if your hamstring flexibility is here, then great. If your hamstring flexibility is here, great. So the band will help you with that. Slide bend in that knee just so you're not feeling any stretch behind the back of your knee. Now, if you're feeling some lower back pressure and you wanna plant your left foot because the band's on your right foot, you can do that and it'll help keep your spine and your lower back in a more neutral alignment. If you want to straighten that leg because it's a deeper stretch in that hamstring and your lower back feels fine, you can do that too. But we're gonna, you know, each, again, each, stretch is a minute long so what i want you to do is make sure that your knee is in line with your shoulder your toe is in line with your knee and we're just going to hold here you should be getting a really good stretch in that hamstring it should not be painful you want to feel like you're you're stretching but you don't want to push it to the point where you're going to hurt yourself okay so we're just nice and controlled and relaxed you're trying you're not fighting it if your leg is shaking a whole bunch then that means you're trying too hard and you're fighting it so back off relax just a little bit and and hang out there instead all right so you have 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and take a break okay we're gonna stay on this leg don't switch legs yet we're gonna stay on that right leg okay but what I want you to do is now, you can either plant your foot or straight leg, it's up to you. But I want you to take that toe in line with your left shoulder. We're going to just hang out there. So this changes the stretch in that hamstring. So now we've moved it to the outside part of that hamstring. Now I'm going to give you a couple of options that you can do with your foot. You can keep your foot, you know, uh, flush with your ceiling or if you want to internally rotate and it'll get a deeper stretch and you might even get a nice little stretch in part of that calf. So it's really up to you if you wanna do both, you can do that. But that little internal rotation at your ankle will be a huge change or add additional stretch, I should say, to how that hamstring stretch is working for you. So we have 20 seconds left. If you wanna do both, you can do both. 
Just please, you do not want to feel anything behind your knee, okay? Keep that back of your knee happy because that's ligaments. Ligaments don't stretch. Muscles stretch. Four, three, two, and take a little break. Okay, good. Now we get to switch to that second leg. So we're going to move that band to your left foot. You can straighten your right leg. You can plant your right foot. It's really up to you. But we're going to do a toe and knee in line with the left shoulder. And just hang out here for a minute. Slight bend in that knee because you don't want it to be behind your knee. If if you can like bring your hamstring, your foot super far and it takes you a lot to feel a stretch in that hamstring, then go ahead and straighten that knee out and then you should feel that hamstring. But you just don't want it to be any of the ligaments behind your knee, okay? So you're doing good. You're already at 25 seconds left. Making sure that foot stays flush to the ceiling. And then... You're almost done. You get to go to that other hamstring stretch. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Okay. Now we're going to take that toe across the body in line with your right shoulder. And here's your option. You can do the foot flush to the ceiling or can do with the internal rotation of the foot at the ankle and keep that there or you can do both it's up to you try both and see how it feels but it should have moved it that stretch into the outer part of your hamstring and that can contribute to a lot of lower back strain too this stretch right here can help your lower back believe it or not <laughs> it's amazing how our body's all interconnected right Good. And you have 15 seconds left. You're almost done. And then we'll move to a hamstring stretch. I'm sorry, a quad stretch. Here's seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, excellent. Now, for your quads, you have four different muscles in your quad, which is why it's, that makes up your quad, which is why it's called a quad recep, right? We're gonna start with just the larger part of your quad. So go ahead, go back to that right leg, like you're gonna do a hamstring stretch, okay? So the band is around the bottom of that right foot. Then you're going to roll onto your left side and bring that band over your shoulder for a nice quad stretch here. So you can, um, the more, the band is gonna help you pull that quad to whatever stretch you need. So if, if your quad is tight and you just wanna hang out here where it's not very close to your glute, that's fine. Or you can really try to pull that quad back, bringing that band over your shoulder. You just don't want your quad fighting you because if your quad is fighting you that means that you're stretching too much also I just need you to relax that quad because the tendency can be for your you to pull so much that it starts bouncing or it's fighting you and then that will make the stretch less effective and could potentially cause injury so you don't want that Okay, so here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, good. Let's go back on your back, and we're going to switch legs. So go to that left foot, and we're going to roll, roll on your right side. And give my little timer here. All right, just bring in your the band over your left shoulder, and you can decide how much stretch you want to do there. But try to relax that left quad. Sometimes people want to help that quad by bringing it higher. Just let it relax. The band is doing the work for you, okay? 
So the more relaxed you are, the more effective the stretch will be. And you might fall asleep. <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh boy. Doing good. But hope it should be very, very deep stretch. If you're a runner, this stretch should feel hopefully really good. If you have knee pain doing this, then just back off a little bit. Give yourself a little bit more slack on that band. So it's a, not pulling on the knee so much. All right, here's three, two, and one. Okay, good. So this next one, I'm going to give you two different options to stretch that quad. It's an additional quad stretch here. You can see which one is more effective for you. All right, so... Since we're here lying on the floor, we're gonna go back to the right foot, okay? And, but we're gonna roll onto your stomach, keeping a hold of your band, okay? So it's still going to go over your shoulder, but um, we want to stretch the vastus lateralis, which is the outer part of your quad, okay? So with the band still around your right, front of the right foot, you're gonna transfer the band to, so that it's over your left shoulder, and you're going to bring your right glute, I'm sorry, your right heel to your left glute, if that makes sense. And then we're just gonna stretch. So pull in, pull in that leg, and this should transfer the stretch to the outer part of that right quad, okay? Good. So hopefully, hopefully you're feeling this. So I'm just going to stay here for 30 seconds instead of 60 because I want to show you the other stretch that might also get this fastest lateralis, okay? So here's five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to switch that band over to the left foot. And it's going to go over the right shoulder. And then you're going to take your left heel to your right glute. So instead of left heel to left glute, we're going to do left heel to right glute. And hold here for 30 seconds. And again, we're trying to get that outer part of that left quad. Because that's that quad does a lot of work when we're running, jogging, um, walking. It does a lot of work. Okay, here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, you can release that. So that was one stretch I wanted to show you. The other stretch for your quad, a little bit more challenging, but it might be a deeper and less awkward stretch for you, hopefully not painful, <laughs> is, well, let's do, your, let's do your right quad first. So we'll step with that left foot. That left foot's gonna help you stay balanced. You're just going to reach back and grab a, a pant leg, a shoe, your foot, and then you're going to just bring your right heel to your right glute and hang out here. If you, if you want to take your heel to the outside of that glute or your heel to the center, your heel to the inside of that same glute, it'll change where the stretch is in your quad. So whoop, feel for, don't fall over, uh, feel for what, what part stretch you might need the most. If this hurts your knee, I get it, find a, a pillow to kneel on, okay? And that's 30, so let's switch to the second side. Okay, planting that left foot, or the right foot, reaching back, grabbing your left heel, bring it to your left glute. And if, you, if you're not feeling much of a stretch, just put your shoulders over your hips instead of leaning forward. Stand, kneel tall, and you'll feel it. <laughs> so again, heel to the outside, heel to center, heel to the inside. We'll change how that stretch is. 
especially if your heel's on the inside of the glute, then you'll get an extra good stretch in that vastus lateralis, okay? And there's 30. Great. Okay, let's get your oblique really fast. From a seated position, you do not need your band anymore. Okay, extend that left leg like you're going to do a V-sit, except we're going to bring the bottom of the right foot to the left inner thigh. If, if, the, if there's not the range of motion there for them to touch, that's okay. We just want to make sure that that right knee is bent. Let right foot to left inner thigh area. Then you're going to reach that right arm overhead. And so if this is, if this is it, so we're trying to get your oblique now, okay? So your oblique is underneath that rib cage. You have an external and an internal oblique. So we want to just try, if you reach straight overhead and you're not trying to reach for that foot, you just go straight overhead. That'll be more external. If you try to reach for your toe, then you can, it'll change how the stretch is. Okay, so you have options here as to which, uh, which way you want to go. If you want to do both overhead, straight overhead, and then try to reach for the toe. Either way. It's going to, it should be an effective stretch. Now, if your knee is freaking out on you, just give yourself a little bit more, um, less bend in it, and it'll still be an effective stretch for you, okay? So we're going to hang out here for another 15 seconds. You're doing great. Hopefully this feels really good, right? This will help your lower back too, by the way. If your lower back is tight, this stretch will be magical. All right, here's five, four, three, two, and done. Awesome. Okay, let's switch sides and then we will be done. Okay, extend that left, right leg, bottom of left foot to right inner thigh. And here we go. You can reach straight overhead or if you want to reach for that foot and see which one feels more effective or you can spend time in both stretches. It's completely up to you. Good job, good job. You're almost done with today. Almost done. Here's, you're already 30 seconds in. Who wants to stay in this stretch longer than a minute? Oh, oh just me? <laughs> almost done. Almost done, almost done. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And don't forget to breathe, by the way. Shouldn't be painful. Should feel good. But trying to push that, that left knee down into the floor as much as you can. And here is... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Good job. Okay. That felt good. All right. I will see you tomorrow for day number seven. Good job showing up today and taking care of your health, especially your flexibility. Tomorrow is the same thing, but from a seated position and standing position. All right. So have a great day.